I am your host, Erica Sold of the Queen of Teeth. We welcome you all to join us every single Tuesday at 9 a.m. right after the news. This is the whole hour of Santa Barbara Teen Athletes and all the people. And we do this every week, but we got to do it again. And all those businesses, the businesses that make this all happen for are nonprofits, and I don't know how else to say it. And, I, and we got a great crew here today. We're starting off with, of course, Dr. D, because without him, we are nothing. Dr. D, I got to tell you a funny story. I get all excited to tell Make you this. Make me laugh. Make me okay, laugh. So last week, and I didn't tell you this last week, I forgot. So last week, I was actually in the car working, and I got a phone call, and they, it was right after the show. And usually, you know, I, I, it, it bubbles up a little bit. You know, usually Terry over here to my right is the first person to tell me, you're full. And I, you know, because I'm talking. <laughs> and uh, so my voicemail is full because, you know, you know people do listen and I talked to my friend and she's I've known her for whatever I promised Anna that I wouldn't talk you know say her name so Anna (laughs) said you know what the one thing I really 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 like about your show and I said what Anna and she said the commercials (laughs) oh man I just was like I was so happy but I'm like uh, I mean out of all the thought you know, because you got that microsecond of like, you know, me, okay, or, you know, the programming or the kids, say something. And the commercials were awesome. But really, when I you hear that, it's like, great, I get, it, it's not, but we do have the best commercials. Dr. D! Right. <laughs> you know, Thank and you. And the price is right. Yes, it is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Just call me Bob Barker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He does, it was awesome. And we wouldn't have what we have. And he just did up a new one for me. And Dominique heard it the other day. And she goes, God, that's really good. You need to put that on your website. <laughs> I go, wow. And I didn't even ask him to do it. So again, right. Dr. D. Thank D. you. That was really awesome. So, well, thank okay. you. Thank you. Thank you. Good things. All things. Summer things. Uh, June 30th. June thirtieth. That's yeah. right, and I am now a year older. Yeah. Oh, the cake was great. It was last Friday. Oh, <laughs> oh shoot me! Uh, you know, I gave you coffee cups. Yes, you did. Yes, yeah. you did. Yeah. Thank it was you. A birthday. It, I was, we were going to sing. It was one for to be a one for each day. hand and a foot. Yes, it was awesome. Oh my god! Happy and um, Angus is uh, also still doing well. He is starting to, ever so slightly, starting to mellow. It's a very slow process for this boy, because he's so energetic. Right, right. You would think that he was a chihuahua in a giant uh, black uh, shepherd, uh, king shepherd's body. Oh, no. He is that energetic, and that's why he tended to hurt himself so much. Aw. Um, but I understand that we're also going to be talking about something that is somewhat harmful to uh, canines in particular, uh, but I won't, I won't, I'll keep that as Wait a surprise for, for later. The there surprise you go. segue. Yeah. <laughs> and it looks like we finally, after over a year of... I'll call it fostering of our purebred Bridget. Oh. Looks like we finally found a fo- home for her up north. Oh, nice. Yeah. Beautiful. So, and it's, you know, for somebody who loves animals as much as you, it's so yeah. funny because the process when you want to find the right home. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not and about, is, and you know. This is almost like a preserve. Oh, nice. And he has like one acre set aside for each type of animal. He's got llamas. He's wow. got dogs. He's got chickens. He's wow. got... You name it, he probably has it. Wow, that's amazing. And, uh, Does he have room for a therapist? Yeah. <laughs> probably. An acre would be great. I would <laughs> let you run free. <laughs> would set you up with free. a little coop. I would run free. <laughs> there you go. All right, since she was stepped up here, we yes. have Dr. Energy, Terry Cooper, marriage and family therapist. Woo! How you doing, Terry? I am doing absolutely fantastic. Okay, I got to I got to share. A couple weeks ago, I was sick as a dog. I don't know what came over me, but I was sick. And of course, I did all the homeopathic stuff, so it wasn't really that bad for four days. But the one day, like after not eating for a couple of days, only like watermelon. Okay, because that's the only thing that would stay down. Lo and behold, somebody <laughs> comes to the door because this is how you know the universe has a sense of humor with the best chocolate cake. Okay. In Santa Barbara from the Dutch Gardens, okay, and it's a slice like you know the Flintstones, like right? your mother would cut for That's you. It. And it's just like I had I that cake. Oh, yeah, it's the best cake, fabulous. So I didn't hear any of it, but I saw this note, and it was in my refrigerator. And then you know, because you don't feel good, so now you open it up, and you're like, oh dear God, no. <laughs> you know? 
<laughs> so we quickly got frozen. Okay, now I'm all better. So I can't. I am so excited for the day that I'm like, okay, it's a cheat day. Okay, I want to weigh myself first. Okay, we'll talk to Heather Bond. She's going to tell me when it's okay to cheat. Okay, so <laughs> here you go. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. Yeah. yeah. So talk to me. What's going on? Well, if I knew that you were going to look at that cake and go, ugh, I would have eaten at least yeah. half of it. No, I, I love it now. I love it now. Too I'm excited. Late. Too that was late. one day. That was a one day. Uh. Well. So what do you got for us? Uh, what do you want? I want you to lay it out. I want you to talk about something. Okay. I've got all kinds of good stuff to talk about. Okay. Um, but I wanted to introduce my guest. Can I do that? Uh, next or should segment. we wait for the next segment? Uh. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is share a little saying with you. Okay. And it's from a man named Eric Greetens, and he's written a book called Resilience. And he, he spoke recently at uh, UCSB, and he's one of the 50 top speakers in the country. And it is a truly inspirational book, and there's lots of great quotes in there mm. and I like this one it's great calamity met with great spirit can create great strength and I think that's a good thing for all of us to remember and especially for those of us who are athletes that sometimes it doesn't always go well but with great spirit great heart we create the strength we need to become champions wow mm. that's awesome that's so amazing. what we're going to do like is that. because we're still going to go around and Dr. D gave me the two minute sign but I, I want you have your own segment this next segment will be your segment now i got one minute okay so i'm going to just return to who else is in the room here and we got ronnie sebastian because he's waving something at me what are you waving at me ronnie well, there's only one thing we get to wave in here and that's checks i love checks <laughs> i love money i have money. i have on behalf of the rudy schulte family foundation a check for $299 to Santa Barbara Writers for Veterans Foundation. This is going to help us in our fundraising to help veterans throughout the Santa Barbara area. Oh, that's awesome. That's Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, Thank very you. nice. Let's talk, like, well, you know, because he's we, in the Writers Club. Tell us, we, the tell you know, Santa Barbara. Well, we'll you know, uh, Santa, Santa Barbara Writers for Veterans Foundation is a foundation that was formed of Santa Barbara Riders Motorcycle Group in order to help veterans throughout the Santa Barbara area. And we have benefited the Disabled American Veterans F Foundation here locally in Santa Barbara. And we have a, an event coming up. We are going to be the beneficiary on July the 25th of the Executive Women's Golf Association's golf tournament at Glen Annie. We're looking for golfers. And uh, you can go onto the website, nice. go onto our website, onto Teen Sports Radio website, and get all the information. My phone number is there. If there's any questions, you can call me, and we'll direct you to the right people to get involved. Nice. And today, I was scheduled to have a guest, and it was going to be Mr. Butch Breeden, who is the executive director of the First Tee Central Coast Santa Barbara. And he, um, he couldn't be here, but he told me that he will come again and advise everybody to go to the website tftcc.org to find out more about First Tee events coming up throughout the summer. And he will come and join us uh, probably next week or the following week. Nice. Good job, Ronnie. Okay, thank you. Woo! Love that. All right, we got two left. Dominique Hackett. Hello, Erica. Good and morning. I, I want to just introduce you because we've got this big segment you want to do. We're going to save you for last, though. Because it's, it's a whole section. All, All right. good? You got it. All right. Last but never least, Heather Bond. Good morning. Woo-woo. <laughs> How are you doing, Heather? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm just so much better. Excellent. I'm, I'm healthy now. <laughs> Summer's underway. That's it. So what are you guys working on? Well, we're working on Summer's Underway, Girls, Inc. We've got stuff, uh, great programs going there. We've got a wonderful guest here representing. Nice. And um, as always, just uh, getting other people's bodies moving out there. Great. So we're going to get with your guest, who is the director of programs. I'm excited Christina joined us today. Thank you, Christina. Woo -hoo. Yes. All right. So let's do this because Dr. D has been giving me the smush sign for about two and a half minutes. So that means it's go time. This is Erica Saul of the Queen of Tea. We'll be back with more after these messages.
We are back, and this is the Santa Barbara Teen Sports Radio Show. I am your host, Eric Assault of the Queen of Teen. Please tune in every single Tuesday at 9 a.m. right after the news. And Dominique, where else are we? We are on Facebook. We're on YouTube, Instagram, and my favorite, Teen Sports Radio. Com. So bad. I love it. It's so funny. And what are the times, Terry? The times are Tuesdays at 9 a.m. and at 11 p.m. On Sundays at 2 a.m. PM and on Mondays at three in the morning. Now, if you hear our well, just to inject here, if three hear, in the morning. I love the three a.m. And show. we it's are just going. So wild. We are going to all have chocolate cake and cocoa. At and I have a whole morning. big chunk in my freezer. That's it. <laughs> and uh, if you hear the Forrester games, that means we're going to be pro- will be postponed till six. Okay, because sometimes <laughs> it, we overlap, but that's all good. Okay, because I was all excited to hear. It's so funny because when we ever, I do have some, occasionally people call. Where's the show? Especially the parents. You know what I mean? Is it my kid on the show at two o'clock? I go, it's at six. It got moved. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. But you can go on the internet. That's the key. We all the shows are posted on the internet, but you're not going to hear those amazing commercials because that's the key key. Okay. Because apparently we have an icon here in the studio. Okay. And if anybody wants a commercial, you might as well pitch him. Dr. D is the man to get commercials. Okay. If you have a business out there and you want and you don't want to use your voice, he has multiple voices. Let me tell you. What do you say? Dr. D. What if you don't have a business and you just want a commercial? <laughs> you could do that. He doesn't care. He He's just going to put it out there. You know what I, I like the most is that uh, Dr. D doesn't only help you with the content of the commercial, but it'll also mix in a little music or a little pizzazz that you wouldn't even think of. That's true. No, it's, he's, it's an art, basically, is what it is. Okay, so we are going to turn the mic over to Dr. Energy. So take it away. Woo! I have really good news. Erica, I know that you were getting over the flu a while back, Uh and you remarked when you came in that your ribs were sore from coughing so much. Uh So I have very good news for you, and good news for everybody here, and for all of our listeners. You're going to love this, folks. So here it is. The good news is that eating dark chocolate keeps you from coughing. It actually stops the cough. In fact, recent research has shown that eating dark chocolate, and it has to be unsweetened, is more effective for stopping a cold than taking codeine. How about that? In a study that was conducted by the British National Health Service, 300 people at 13 different hospitals who had persistent coughs were given the chemical theobromine. Bromine. Theobromine, or theobromine, whatever you like. (laughs) It all depends on what part of the country you're from. That's That's it. it. And from England, it's theobromine. (laughs) Twice a day for two weeks. Okay, that's what they took. And the theobromine is derived from cocoa. Who knew, right? The way it works is that theobromine can block the action of the sensory nerves, which halts the cough reflex, and I believe activates the yummy reflex. The results of the research study were that 60% of the patients experienced cough relief after taking the cocoa-based treatment. Unsweetened dark chocolate, by the way, has about 450 milligrams of theobromine per ounce. So a little over two ounces of dark chocolate a day will do the trick to stop that hacking cough. Does it keep the cough away or just... It It stops it dead in its (laughs) ugly little tracks. In its hacky little tracks. And it was a reputable study. It wasn't done by Hershey's or something. No, Hershey's (laughs) did not do it. I beg your pardon. Hershey's (laughs) is a great park. Yes, (laughs) I understand that, but if they'd have done the study, it might have been a little suspect. Are we done? (laughs) So the next time you're coughing and you want to stop, instead of swigging some medicinal tasting cough suppressant, now you can righteously munch some yummy chocolate without even a hint of guilt and stop your coughing in its tracks. And I think that calls for a woo-hoo. Woo-hoo! I've got to try that because it yeah. just that baffle. I've never ever heard that like in, in anything I've ever read or somebody suggested. And I have a lot of those homey, you know, because Santa Barbara they had a gigantic sector, you know, of people that are all Dominique. You know what I mean? 
you know, here's your oil of oregano. And I bought into all that. But, okay, thank you. So, I bought into all that. I did. <laughs> except for the, co- except for the coffee. Okay, <laughs> Dominic. You know, honestly, I, mean, I, I got $200 of chiro- chiropractor bills, okay, because I think I cracked a rib. All right? So, it would be nice if you would have, you know, sp- yeah, just I, I, now, next I gotta time, talk to the right people. Next time this you just melt saying. the chocolate right on yeah, that sore spot. I don't spot. know what it is, yeah. man. It really but hurt me. there is something to pay attention to. If your dog happens to have a kennel cough, do not give it chocolate. Oh, yeah. Because as we all know or should know, chocolate is not good for dogs. And that's because uh, of the theobromine. theobromine. Oh, I've actually did some research because our dog ate half of a crushed cake chocolate icing chocolate cupcake. Oh. Now, the upside was that it wasn't pure chocolate. Obviously, you had flour and sugar and a few other things in there mixed in with whatever chocolate was there. Mm. The other upside is, based upon the research that I did, a 20-pound dog, and this is just an equivalency, if he or she eats one pound of dark chocolate, that will kill it. So we have a 120-pound dog who ate half a cupcake. Right. So you'll be all right. No side effects of any kind. Just a little acne. Yeah, just a little acting, and he's always doing that. But you don't want to give your dogs the chocolate of any kind. Yeah. Although I did, he- I have heard that white chocolate is supposedly okay. I just assume stay away from all chocolate right. and give them the dog treats that are made for them. Mm-hmm. So be careful. Definitely interesting. Yeah. Your guest has a comment during the break about chocolate and dogs. Oh, oh this is Gloria Aronson. Hi, Gloria. Hi. Welcome to Teen Sports Hi. Radio. Hi. Yes, I had a, a dog who was pretty naughty. <clears throat> when, my, when my daughter was tiny and we got this dog, she ate all her crayons and pooped in color. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I love that. At the end of her life, oh. unfortunately, one Christmas, I was having company put out some chocolate-covered coffee beans. The dog ate them. And died. Oh, no. Yeah. Seriously. This is so a family uplifting show. Yes. <laughs> I'm just saying. So, I'm just but we can all hope to die, I well, guess. We can all we remember. Remember the silence for the dead dog. <laughs> exactly. Remember the colored poop. That was yeah. bad. That was funny. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. She's going to be a great guest. <laughs> this is. <laughs> it's just a friendly warning to keep your pets safe. Exactly. Dogs, cats. Right. I, I always get concerned when I'm taking medications, pills specifically, because because yeah. you don't want to drop them on the floor. The cats right. will pounce. They think they're a toy, yeah. and you don't know what you know what it'll do to them. So, just these are just friendly words of advice, so that you will continue to have a happy home. So definitely, because they definitely give us a lot of joy. So. Well, chocolate is also fantastic for athletes. Because it has antioxidants in it. Oh. And it's a really, really good for fighting depression. It's really good for giving a steady dose of energy. But the secret is it needs to be dark chocolate and not have all that sugar packed into it. So definitely experiment with chocolate. And I was just going to add to that. I have some great stuff. And I'm blanking on the name right now, but it's 100% pure. And they're little wafers. And it's got quite a little bite to it. But I'll tell you what, it's like a little medicinal piece of uh, You're food. You're going to bring those in next Tuesday. I will bring them in. We'll all be, woo! <laughs> That's it. That's it. I'm calling you out on Because I'm over that chocolate fear. Okay? <laughs> all right, let's do this. We've got the smooshy sign. We've got a lot a lot more to go. This is Eric Asalda, but we've got sponsors. Stay tuned for more after these messages. We are back, and this is the Santa Barbara Teen Sports Radio Show. I am your host, Erica Salda, the Queen of Teen. Please tune in every single Tuesday at 9 a.m. right after the news. And, Dominique, where else can you find us? You can find us on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Facebook is really cool. Mm-hmm. And uh, the Internet. You can. There's a short URL, sbtsr. Dot com. Wow, you guys wow. have been practicing. <laughs> That's, I had to go to the restroom, so you been you knocked that out. That's all right. I liked it. Really, I liked really it. good. At least you were busy while I want to know when I can get in on thing. that rehearsal. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Little, we should have our own barbershop quartet. Exactly. I like it. Well, when you got Sloan Reality in the house, we can't compete. So we've been That's we've true. been learning from her. I She's know, a great exactly. teacher. She's out there. I know. <laughs> all right. 
We're going to go back to Terry Cooper. How you doing? I'm doing well. Dr. Energy. Dr. Energy. Bring it up a notch. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Terry Cooper, licensed marriage and family therapist. Yes. In private practice here in Santa Barbara, California. So come see me when you're not listening to the show. <laughs> I want to introduce my guest who is a, a very eminent and eminent because <laughs> she's here and she's eminent, uh, marriage and family therapist, my friend, uh, Gloria Aronson, who has been a licensed marriage and family therapist for over 35 years, and also a diplomate. I'd never heard that term, but Gloria introduced me to it. A diplomate in comprehensive energy psychology. Gloria is in private practice, and she specializes in cutting-edge mind-body methods that provide rapid and effective relief from mental and emotional pain. And that sounds really good. With chocolate, that covers all bases. <laughs> she also so is a very popular, and I can tell you from personal experience, excellent teacher at the Center for Lifelong Learning, which is the latest configuration of adult ed. So Gloria is also an author. She's written one, two, three, four, five, six, seven books. Oh. And uh, yes. And I can tell you a little bit, of, I can tell you some of their titles, Five Simple Steps to Emotional Healing, which is all about energy field therapy, Grown Up Love, Getting It and Keeping It, ooh, that sounds good, Procrastination Nation, A Substance Called Food, Born to Spend, and How to Stop Playing the Waiting Game, that's W-E-I-G-H-T-I-N-G, and today Gloria is going to teach us and talk to us about how to use energy field therapy for athletes. How you doing? Thank you for all being right. here today. Gloria. Gloria. I am, I ran all the way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I'm really so happy to find out about all the work you're doing and especially we are a nation of sports lovers. We just love our sports. We start our kids in diapers, and we want them all to be athletes who get in the Olympics. Unfortunately, I have not counseled any Olympic athletes, but I have counseled athletes who have uh, been in marathons, um, golf people who are golf crazy, and... One of the things I would love to do is to see our coaches in the high schools get some of this information for the teenagers because we can have winning teams and teams who also have high self-esteem. And one of the things that happens in sports, and I have to say my sport was archery. <laughs> you know, the, <laughs> that's a about, good sport. That was a yeah. good sport, but, you know, in New York City, it's very hard. <laughs> you need it. Hard. <laughs> if you have to get mugged by Robin Hood, you'll be <laughs> yeah. you, know, you can't take your bow and arrow on the subway. They don't let you on. Uh, but one of the things that coaches and athletes don't know is that one of the reasons why people are not at their best sometimes has to do with their emotions. If you have a fight with your girlfriend the night before a game, <clears throat> this can really get to you. If you have low self-esteem, you have a mean coach who yells at you all the time, you might be telling yourself, I'm not going to do it, I won't hit the ball, I won't catch the ball, <clears throat> I won't, you know, I, I'm, I'm a loser. So one of the things that people like me in the field of energy psychology do is we teach all the people who come to us of any age, and I do want to tell you, my youngest client was two and a half years old. Wow. <laughs> <clears throat> really, really. Uh, so you can do it with kids because it doesn't have to do with sitting on a couch or lying on a couch and bearing your problems to a therapist. It's an active technique that's called EFT. 
emotional freedom technique. <clears throat> emotional freedom technique, we now, you may know it as acupressure for the emotions, or we call it EFT tapping because it has to do with tapping or touching your acupressure points just for a few seconds. When you do this, what it does is it raises the serotonin in the brain. Now, serotonin, S stands for soothing. And so what happens is as the serotonin rises, your blood pressure goes down. You feel more calm and focused. And I'll just tell you a quick story about a darling 12-year-old who is a gymnast. And she, her goal was to get a scholarship to go to college with her, her ability. So she was in a competition where she had to, to do 10 vaults in a row. But she couldn't. She kept doing four and faltering. And what we discovered was that her fear was a fear that started many years before when she had an accident, got her foot caught, and it got cut, and she bled all over the place. So every time she got up to do her vaults, her, she was triggered, even though she wasn't aware of it. But the fear came from the injury. <clears throat> Once we were able to do this very simple technique that I can t teach you in two minutes, what happened was she calmed down, she lost her fear, and she won the contest. Wow. That's, that's a great story. <laughs> yeah. That's only one of many. This is helping professional athletes. This is helping college athletes. And if you go to YouTube and you put in EFT for sports, you'll see many, many YouTube tubes about it, and you'll see athletes telling how they use this to overcome their fears, their anxiety, and even some of their hidden stresses that they didn't realize were influencing their games. Gloria, if I'm understanding this correctly, this is the technique that will help you overcome a trauma or a situation yes. that is inhibiting you from performing at optimum level. Mm, yes. But my question would be, how do you get to the point to that's the trigger? How did you know it was her injury that caused her? Or was that just the oh, way it turned thank you. out? What a great question. Now, everybody here has a little picture. <clears throat> and what I want you to do is just to go through the points with you, and then I'll explain okay. how this fear how we discovered the root of it. Okay, so we always start with the edge of our hand, and we call it the karate chop spot, because if you can picture someone breaking a brick, that's the part of the hand. And when we tap on that, we usually focus on what the problem is. So it, in this girl's case, it was even though I'm really scared, even though I love this sport, but I'm really scared and it keeps me from being a winner, I'm going to treat myself. So we do that for just a few seconds, and then we're going to tap right on the crown of our head. And she just focused on this fear. I'm scared. Then we tap on the eyebrow where the hair starts to grow. Where this, your third eye is. <clears throat> no, not the third eye, the right. actual eyebrow. eyebrow. Oh, yeah, because those are different points. <laughs> so these are specific <laughs> acupuncture points. So we would tap and say this fear and outside edge of the eye. This fear I have under the lower lid. This fear, and we would try to have her feel it. I'm really scared. This is scary. Under the lip, I'm scared. I'm afraid. Under the collarbone, I'm really scared. And then under the armpit. <clears throat> and then we take a breath and let it out. Now, people say, well, I don't want to focus on what's wrong. Well, the reason we do this is we're trying to get in touch with the energy that's out of balance to balance it. And what happens then is information comes up. And what could, what could happen with a little girl like that, because not sophisticated, is oh, she'll say, oh, when I was nine, I fell off. Okay? So the answer is in, with, in within us. 
then once it comes up, and I must say that for another person, a uh, teenager that I was working with, um, what came up was molest. That was keeping this young man from being at his best <clears throat> uh, so that he couldn't allow himself to be a winner. So these are the thing. this is so simple, and it could even be in a, in a a golfer I was working with. I had him hit some balls with different irons, and, and he rated them wonderful, good, not so good. So we Dad, I want to I want to oh. throw it over to because she's all excited. And I'm, all excited. I'm all excited. I'm all excited. She used to be a gladiator. Yeah, so okay. So when she it. looks at you, you <laughs> stop. <laughs> I have fear. I've been tapping. I've been tapping, 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 and she's looking at me, and I'm sweating. Um, so I want to say I got introduced to EFT a couple years ago, oh. and it is a phenomenal technique. I train um, with my different athletes oh, and clients great. it, and it is absolutely wonderful. So anybody looking for that, definitely do your research on it. All right, great. Right. So just a lot you of people could, say this is nonsense. It's not. Thank you. You Thank bet. You. Yeah, absolutely. We could YouTube it. We got the yeah. swishy sign. We've got lots, lots left. So stay tuned for more after these messages. We are back, and this is the Santa Barbara Teen Sports Radio Show. And I am your host, Erica Salda, the Queen of Teen. Please tune in every single Tuesday at 9 a.m. right after the news. If you just tuned in, oh, you missed a good one, okay? But the nice thing is that you can go on the Internet, all right, even though you don't catch the valuable commercials that we have, that apparently we have a, I don't know, a groupie list now, I think, all right, that just like the commercials. And that's great, okay? Dr. D, you've got a following. A am I going to need security now? I'm serious. <laughs> I, I think you should just put a shirt. I, I'm I'll Dr. D. I'll bring Angus. Yeah. I'll bring Angus. <laughs> right next to no you. No one will come near me. <laughs> it's it's true. <laughs> that and the hat, no one's going to touch you. All right, we, we've got a lot, lot left. I'm going to give the mic over now to to uh, really, I'm, I'm so blessed. Actually, I don't even know if, do you remember how I met you? I thought we met through Dustin. Uh, we, we met through we, Dustin, but the irony was, oh, is, um, I, I don't even, uh, we met through Dustin, but the funny thing is, is I knew uh, your husband. Oh, yes. Okay. Right, right, and the right. funny thing is, is he's, so, he's such a quirky little guy, and I loved him to death because <laughs> <laughs> he was a quirky little guy. Who, well, he was outside this building. Her husband and he's or trying, Justin? Yeah, no. They're, they're, hey, anybody who's a genius, when they're, they, they think different, right? But it, what bothered him, because he, he's like a kind of guy where there's something not right, and he just has to fix it. So there was a leak on the side of this building. Okay, because you were the guest, and it was killing him. So he went up, and he's trying to fix it. Okay, <laughs> and he did because it was bothering him that the water was being wasted. Yeah. Put your hands together. We yeah. need it more than ever. <laughs> if you see a leak, okay, you, you need people like this in this place. Seriously, you got to call that it. quirky little guy. I know exactly. <laughs> I loved it uh, when we had the big rains about a month ago, mm -hmm. and everybody was posting it on Facebook, and all the kids have jumped in because they're understanding though, the value of water and how we're in this crisis and they're all putting barrels all over the backyard and I thought it was the coolest thing because you know of course Dominique did that okay trash I mean we, I, I'm like where's, where's the trash cans Along okay the <laughs> I'm, serious. <laughs> I'm serious I, I was missing everything Dominique that's all I kept yelling okay 20 minutes Dominique you stuck me in that cage I will never do anything wrong because I don't like to be confined I if the door is open I'm fine as soon as I heard click I said it's over. <laughs> it now has two strings. Yeah, it was I know. Two years ago. I, I know. It's gonna. Well, I, I'm tapping. Yeah, I'm tapping. I'm tapping. I'm tapping. I'm tapping. I'm tapping. I'm tapping. I'm gonna. I, I'm gonna see my friend, marriage and family therapist, Doctor Energy, Doctor Cooper. Yes, you, you just got promoted. <laughs> Everybody's a doctor on this show. Heather Bond. Yes. Who did you bring? Yes, I brought Christina Webster from Girls Inc. Woo! Finally. I just Finally, wanna, we got Girls Inc. in the house. Yes, I just want to say um, I got a little deep root with Girls Inc. going back to Galita Girls Club because that was my first job at 13 for a CIT. Yeah. Yeah. Did you know that? No. Didn't know oh, it? no. No. Now you know that. 
that. And, and so here's another one. And I also coach gymnastics at Santa Barbara Girls Club in the early nice. 90s with my old gymnastic coach, Julie Updike. Nice. And I'm super excited because my daughter was able to finally go because of her age last summer. And now it's this summer and we're two weeks in. And I'm super excited to hear uh, all the programs you have to offer this year. So June 30th. So yes. what do we got going at uh, Girls Inc.? So we have all kinds of amazing summer programs going on. We have our two different centers, the Santa Barbara Center and the Goleta <coughs> Valley Center. We also have our gymnastics program. So we have full day summer camps going um, through August 22nd through the end of August there. But we have lots of different sports and movement activities happening through our program. So we're super excited to do that. Our mission is to inspire all girls to be strong, smart, and bold. Nice. So we really believe in that strong and giving girls an early start into um, how they use their bodies, appreciating their bodies, getting their bodies moving in new and different and fun and exciting ways. So uh, super excited to incorporate sports and movement into all of our programs we have going on. Yeah, so, so can, can you throw some out? Like, you have every program. We I don't know. We have all kinds of yeah. things. So, in addition to our gymnastics mm-hmm. department, which runs summer camps as well as team gymnastics, right. um, competitive teams, we also have at our centers, we do lots of different sports. So, throughout our summer and after school programs, we're doing golf. We're working in, with First Tee. We also have surfing. We work with iSurf and Surf Happens to have surfing for our girls. Mm-hmm. Um, we are doing, throughout the year, basketball. We're doing yoga. We're going hiking. Nice. Um, we're playing softball. We do a lot of soccer. Um, so all different kinds of sports that you can imagine. We're trying it. We're doing lots of fun things. That's fantastic. So you yeah. pick, a, pick the kids up from school? We do. Girls nice. Inc. picks girls up from school, after school, from the Santa Barbara um School district, as well as the Hope and Galita School District, we bring them back to our centers and offer classes and programming, homework, help, and tutoring um, until six o'clock every evening. Is um, there, do they get a snack or anything? I'm of just asking. Of course, yeah. we love Oof. to feed the kids. We yeah. have um, yeah. snacks after school, and then in our summer program, we have free lunch through the mm-hmm. Community Action Commission, as well as snacks every day. We go on field really? trips. We go swimming, so we go and visit the pools every summer as well. Um, we partner with the Parks and Rec Department to do swim lessons too so our girls can sign up th- for swim lessons so it's kind of one stop shopping for our parents so, so it's just like one you pay one price and you get all that or you everything sure is like a, do. really no, you pay one price for the week you pay mm-hmm. by the week you can sign up for as many weeks or as few weeks as you'd like and it's mm-hmm. one price you get to do the field trips you get the lunch you get the snacks you get all the different amazing programs that we have um, activities centered on our themes um, all all of that is included in your weekly. I like fee. your buses; they're pretty. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, they're like nice buses. They're nice fans. We're nothing very for nothing. nice fans. You know, you see some yes, buses, this like, is God, true. I, would, I mean, yeah. I would be afraid. You yes. Know? Yeah. You, I was just going to say, you know what I love um, so much, too, is uh, I think the last two years, I don't know if it's been before, but you guys do themes on different countries. Mm-hmm, so it's like you. 42 days around the world yep. or something like yeah. that. And it's it's oh. awesome because every department that the kids go into, the girls, they get to learn about that country's, you know, through science, through the sports, through cooking, through all the different activities. And it's just awesome. Keeps it exciting. Well, thank you, Heather. Yes. Yeah. So I have a couple of questions. Okay, great. Um Do you have any scholarships for kids who might not be able to afford it? Of course we do, yes. So we um, have um, financial aid available, and that's available on sliding scale fees. So it's based on total household income, and we really want to work with families. We don't want to turn girls away because of um, financial hardships. We're really here to inspire all girls and want to be able to do that. And do you have a volunteer program? Because it sounds delicious, and I'd love to participate. We do have a volunteer program. It's something we're working on expanding um, as well. We've had a lot of volunteers helping with our homework help and tutoring during the after school program, but we're working on getting more volunteers in ways that adults can come in and support our programs as well. So if you're interested in the sciences, we want to connect you with a science program. If you have, um, you're interested in sports and athletics, we want to have you come in and work with our basketball team and teach some classes to the girls. So yes, we definitely are interested in having volunteers come into our program. 
programs. Wonderful. And is there an age group? So we are currently in our two different centers serving girls who are entering kindergarten or transitional wow, kindergarten wow. all the way up through eighth grade. And starting this fall, actually, we're going to be expanding into some teen programming. Wonderful. So we're going to start to serve um, girls in the junior high age range and high school age range um, in the future um, a little bit differently. So we're really excited about that come the fall. That sounds so, so this great. The, is this the only yeah. Girls Inc. or you have them nationwide? No, we are a national nonprofit organization. Oh. So we have an affiliate here in Santa Barbara. There's a, an affiliate right in Carpinteria nice. um, as well. Yeah. All right, we got a little bit of time left at Chris. section. We're not going to let you go. All right, okay. I have a couple more questions, but we, well, I got the smushy sign. All right, that means it's go time. This is Erica Salda, the Queen of Teen. We'll be back with more after these messages. We are back, and this is the Santa Barbara Teen Sports Radio Show. I am your host, Erica Salt, the Queen of Teen. Please tune in every single Tuesday at 9 a.m. right after the news. All right, we have a couple more questions. Then I want to go back to Dr. Energy's guest, and then I'm going to say lots of love to everybody in the community. But we got it. We're going to. I know. Doc, uh, I'm looking at Dominique, and she's so sweet. All right, I can smell that you know, herb from here. So we're going to let you. <laughs> I'm going to let you talk about your little thing. I keep on pushing you. I know. I don't want to do that. Um, So who had the next question? I I had a question for Christina regarding locations. I mean, it's obviously you're passionate about what you're doing. You can feel it in the room. The energy is there. Tell us a little bit about the locations, where people can go, and how we can find you. Great. Well, of course, you can always check out our website. That will help you out a lot, www.girlsincsb.org. And our downtown center is located at 531 East Ortega Street. And our Goleta Valley Center is at 4973 Hollister Avenue. Nice. Hey, Christina, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. Hey, we, we're looking for a nice partnership with Girls Inc. And, you know, we're still going to start that today. Yes. Okay? Now, we like what you're doing. How many girls do you serve in Santa Barbara, just for oh, a number? that's a really good question. Throw a I number. was just looking at the annual report and it's over a thousand wow. a year. That's nice. So, girls, yes. Inc., put it together. Yeah. 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 Very good. Thank you. All right, we're closing up, closing down the show. So, Terry Cooper, let's give your amazing guest an opportunity to share where we can find she is amazing. her. Thank Gloria. You. Don't I give good guests? Yes. <laughs> she she, does. she does. does. Gloria, where are I you? How can we find you? I, I know. I know pers- up close and personal. Yeah. Uh, I'm Gloria Aronson, A R. E-N-S-O-N. You can find me online. I have a website, GloriaAronson.com. And you can also learn how to tap if you go to YouTube and look up Gloria Aronson EFT. I have five different... um, YouTube's teaching you so you'll see where the points are and you'll see what to do with them. Because you can't Harrison. do it wrong. Thank you. Thank Woo! you. It was wonderful. Thank you so much. Dominique! All right, bring it home, girl. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. I I made a promise to myself that this year for Teen Sports Radio, I would contribute something um, really wonderful about herbs because I want kids to know that you can grow things around your house that you can easily pick Add to your meal, and it will increase your health, vitality, and just make you playing sports so much more fun because you're eating really good food. So the herb for today is parsley. Mm-hmm. Parsley is kind of, it's the herb that we find on our plate frequently, like when we go out to a really nice restaurant, it's garnished on the side, and everyone throws it away. Well, I'm telling you, this is a secret wealth of wonderful nutrients, especially for athletes. It's got vitamin K in it, which helps with clotting. It has vitamins in it for bones. It has vitamins that help with our aerobic and anaerobic exercise. It is so healthy for the body, and the Arthritis Foundation has said that this is a great herb to use. You can use it every day. I can't find any information on the internet about anyone overdosing on parsley. <laughs> so My mother used it in everything. Exactly. Did you bring any? I have some in my garden okay. that I can share we with didn't you. Get any chocolate, but, <laughs> <laughs> but the thing about parsley I want to tell you is it also helps you have great breath. 
So mm-hmm. when you see that greenery on the side of your plate, right. grab it, munch on it, eat it. Especially after you have those garlic biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> and if you have green stuff on your teeth and there's a good looking person near you and you might smile at them and they might just say, oh, look, you've got something on your teeth and start a conversation. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> yeah, that's what I do. Uh, listen, Santa Barbara, we love you. If you'd like to participate in what we're doing, we would so welcome it. We're, we're trying to build a community. Um, it's it's working. If you would like, if you have a nonprofit out, and you'd like to uh, be hosted on our wall. We would love to have you there. Uh, businesses, keep up the good work. And last but not least, Joanne Stoltz. Put your hands together, Caldwell Banker. Lead a roundup. One for the month of June. We love you, Joanne. God bless Santa Barbara. Please tune in and join us next Tuesday at KZSBAM 1290 at 9.06 a.m. when we will go behind the scenes with the local students, athletes, coaches, parents, volunteers, and all other teen sports supporters. This is all brought to you by ePro Insurance Agency, leader in gift planning and wealth preservation since 1983. So please follow along and support our student athletes by reading the Santa Barbara News Press and then join me. Erica Salda, the Queen of Teen, Dr. Dugan, my co-host, friends, teens, every week on the Santa Barbara News Press radio station. You're the best, you're the best.